Do come again whenever you need to lie down. Hey there! Thank you very much.
<laughs> really? You ain't gonna run. Yeah, got him! <laughs> Throw me someone stronger next time. That didn't take long. Got the village buttoned up tighter than a skin flint's coin purse. So, where do we start? Could listen in on the soldiers. Could try and count their weapons and provisions. That tent in the back is worth a look, too. Don't be spotted. What a nerve the League's got, stirring up trouble like this. What happened to their promises of friendship from that co-expedition? From what I hear, they want the rune barrows we found for themselves. That's why they're relocating everybody who lives in the area. Bunch of grubby bastards. I just hope they'd turn over those crooks from the watch so we can all go home. all killed? Please don't.
And what do we have here? Yeah, they're preparing to attack, and they ain't pissing around either. Provisions and weapons? Enough for a whole legion. They are serious. <sighs> so there is gonna be a war? Not if Lady Perio can help it, I imagine. But whatever happens, we follow orders. War with the Empire. Worry later. You want to try that big tent next? Preparations complete. Nearly, sir. We'll break this insignificant country and serve it to the dukes on a platter. My cap needs a finer feather after all. That's gotta be the commander here. Though it sounds like he reports up to somebody else. Security looks tight. Best stay clear. Okay, so I guess we hit the tent in the back and then we're done? just left his post. I know, right? Sloppy. He's gonna catch it when he gets back. Come on, don't stop there. It appears that we won't be getting back that way. Pretty lady, you gonna make some noise for me? That's a good girl. Yes, you are, Sylvie. That Byrunic lens reactor of yours is ready to pump out 500 poles of pressure. A heart that big deserves to be loved back. But first, we need to get you all gussied up. Oh, I love you, Sylvie. You're my special lady. What the heck? Ah! Who, who are you? You didn't, um, I don't know, hear any of that? Hear any of what? I was just giving my lady, I mean, I was talking to the, well, not like conversing, but verbally running checks on this inanimate thing. 
Uh, great, I guess. Do I know you? You're not with the army. <sighs> Good thing, too. They'd never let me live this down. I take it you're not a soldier. Nuh uh. I'm more of an engineer. See? Duke's Aldrich wants to improve on her rune lenses work. They're too fickle and magical, and they're also tied to specific wielders with unpredictable potency. He's looking to develop technology that lets everyone wield them equally. Mind over magic, huh? That's right! And Sylvie, um, I mean, Sylvie real interesting if this rune tank turns out to be the first proof of concept. I began my research under Hal's Kessling's sponsorship, but then it caught the Duke's eye. Wait, hold on. Did you say Kessling? Yes, that's my friend's family. We grew up together. Well, he's a noble scion, so perhaps I'm overstepping. But I like to think he's my friend. Sure, he's a little gruff, but his heart's in the right place. He's always been there for me, even after he took on more responsibility. Are we talking about Sane? You know him? Oh, wow! I didn't realize he had other friends. Actually, wait. He did mention he made a friend on the co-expedition with the League. Small miracle for him, honestly. So that's you, eh? <laughs> Paul? You in here? Hmm. <laughs> Tell me the rune tank actually started this time. You! Wait, Hildy? <sighs> Pole, sound the alarm. Yes, Mom! The intruders escape. Oh, come on, really? Let's go, Noah, now. But, right. Um, who was that, Mom? The enemy. Why did Hildy do that? I, I thought we were buds. Shut your mouth and move already. Wrong way. What is it? That's enough! 
about it. <laughs> Throw me it? someone stronger next time. We're really overstaying our welcome. Are you the intruders? Well, so much for stealth. A fight it is. Any last words? Exercise. Nice. I can feel the improvement. Gotta say, this could really be going a lot better. Out of here unless we bust through. We've got you now, League scum. Time to swat some flies. Oh my! More fighting. <laughs> Bring it on! I'll rip off your arms and shove them so deep down your throat, your intestines will be tasting fingertips! Do this. No, we... 
Sorry, brother. Nothing we say is gonna make this right for either of us. Let's move. Right. Stop them! <laughs> really? You ain't gonna run. Yeah, got him! <laughs> we cleaned right up! Gotcha! Perfect catch! Hup. Uh. Yes! Come on, come on! Yes! Yep! Come on, come on! Perfect catch! Come on, come on. Ha, <laughs> nothing to it. Hup. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to it. Yep. Gotcha! Perfect catch.
Oh, there again, friend. Fish been biting for you? Oh, there again, friend. Fish been biting for you? Come on, Amir's waiting for our report. War. I can't believe it. Well-timed, oh great captain. I was just about to report to her ladyship. You can accompany me. Sure. All right. So, they have enough weaponry to arm a legion, as well as several months of provisions. Hard to imagine this chapel fellow in command needs that many men just to take some so-called raiders into custody. We've received information that Dukes Aldrich and his army are en route to Norsferia to requisition the Empire's newly annexed territory. As for the reinforcements we requested, opinions in Eucharist are divided. The Chamber of Lords, in particular, is reticent to be dragged into what they view as a problem between Eltisvice and the Empire. It doesn't help that a tidy sum is riding on the Norsefarian purchase, and the Lords are fearful the deal will fall through. King Yuma Sheareth, for his part, is amenable to providing troops, but the Lords have spooked him into inaction for now. That sounds like Yuma. Blast it. I should have foreseen the money issue. If that was part of the Duke's hand, he's even craftier than I thought. Well, 
I didn't expect help to come right away, so at least there's a sliver of hope. Mm, sounds like we'll be hunkering down here for a few months until Eucharist comes around. Won't be easy. I did as her ladyship asked, and augmented Eltis Vice's food stores. We have enough for a year. Thankfully, time is on our side. The longer the war, the harder it will be for those noble dolts to feign blindness to the enemy's ambitions. So there it is. We fend off the Empire's first attack, then weather the long siege. I'm counting on you all. We won't let you down. Hmm. Noah, was it? Emir, give him command of a unit. What? My lady, just because Gar trusted the boy with temporary captainship of a very small company is no... He's clearly eager for more, and I'm sure Gar and the others will mentor him. Isn't that right? I've always been good at showing folks the ropes. Good. Because wars are shaped by the right narrative. So the story goes something like this, perhaps. Though the boy's home was raised by the cowardly empire, he found the courage to take up arms in the face of despair. That'll work. Make sure it's the talk of every tavern and hall by the end of the week. Oh, I suppose raised is an exaggeration. An embellishment. Milady, if I may. Yes, Jinquis. What is it? You look haggard. Yes, well, fighting for your life will do that to a woman. I was just about to come find you. They're holding a war council. It's happening! So this is it, huh? It's been a long two weeks. This will be your first big battle, right? Come on, let's go see what Gar and the others are up to. Some stress relief, perhaps. 